right, let's kick it off with Dr. Lori and play another round of Dumpster or No Dumpster on this Wednesday. Dr. Lori, how are you? I'm great. Look how springy you guys look. <laughs> we look like Easter eggs. We I do. Think. I'll take it. Just in time. Look how fancy you look with yes. all of your designer boxes in front of you. I Lots like that nice shade of green. <laughs> nice. <laughs> right, 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 right. Nice designer boxes today. Uh, don't forget about, you know, jewelry, costume jewelry, a lot of the stuff that you might overlook and when you're looking for something to submit for dumpster or no dumpster. And you can submit them at the Facebook page at Tampa Bay's Morning Blend. So let's see what some of our viewers sent in for us today. Let's uh, do it. What do you like have it. for us first? How about this? unmarked blue ceramic cup made in China. Now, even though it's unmarked, there are ways that you can tell by the patterning where pieces are made. It's transferware, which means the image is actually transferred onto the piece. It's from the 1950s. It's in good condition. It's a little lonely. It has no saucer. <laughs> you knew I was going to say that, Dr. Lori. Yes. <laughs> I was wondering which part of the set we were missing, but a yes. saucer makes sense. It's, it's yeah. lonely. Um, Dr. Lori, I, I feel like unmarked, that kind of worries me a little bit. And then the transferware element, um, I'm probably... No offense to the lonely cup. I'm probably going to say dumpster. Yeah, I think I'll probably go the same route. And if you look at the color of the clay, it's kind of a gray color. Do you see how it's kind of a gray yeah. white? Yeah, it's that's, a white white. Yeah, that's also a tip off. It's worth ten dollars. It's a dumpster. Oh, oh, ten bucks. A little lonely. Okay. Hey, keep it. Have your tea out of it. There you go. It's or perfect. use it as a container. Yeah. You know? Okay. You know what my what mom have... used to do very quickly. What my mom used to do when we were little. Use it for a little planter and teach us how to grow herbs or grow a little parsley, something oh, like that. So that's a yeah. cute idea. That's a really cute, cute idea. idea. Maybe teach me how to grow <laughs> herbs or something. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have next, Dr. Lori? This particular piece is uh, an Asian soapstone vase. It's from the middle part of the 1900s. They're very, very common. Many people have them. And they were very common from about the early 1900s until about the 1940s or 50s. Um, you'll notice that it's hand carved. It's soapstone. And the back is room for, obviously, it's a vase. And then the front portion of it was oftentimes used um, for the, um, the leaning of pens. So calligraphic pens would oftentimes be, um, leaned up against the branches and the foliage of this particular carving, because these were oftentimes at, uh, vases that would be at the back of a desk. So a lot of the desk, uh, utensils would actually be leaned up against this vase. Hmm. I don't know that I've heard of soapstone before. I don't, I, I've seen things like this before, but to try to remember to place that name, I don't think I could do it. Um, you know me in Asian decor, I've got a soft spot for that. I'm not going to lie. About 10 inches tall. I but I think, you, I think the soapstone, I think the, the detail, age, the, yeah. even though you said that it is very common, I still think it's going to be a no dumpster. Yeah. It's going to be worth more than 50. I'm with you. $75 is what it's worth. There you go. All That's nice. cool looking. Again, I'm, I'm a sucker for Asian decor. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Uh, okay. I feel like I've talked about that for years. Someday I just like need to do the segment from like my house to show like, yes, I really am. I really do. I like really this. do. <laughs> it's oh. very pop popular. Chinoiserie is the term that art historians use. Chinoiserie or things of, of China are very, very popular and have been very popular since the colonial period in America. Which I think you and I have even talked about this, Dr. Lori, and I hope we have time. I'm not taking away from the third item, but I found this interesting. My Italian ancestors, my, on my husband's side of the family, I didn't even realize how much they collected from China, from Asia. And I had asked you one time off camera, why is that? I'm surprised that it's not Italian. You said it was a, a version of luxury for many, right. many people, no matter where people are from, right? That's right, because it was seen as such an exotic place that no, very few people got there basically in the Western world. Mm -hmm. And when people did the grand tour, that was part of the, the thing. If you could get anything that related to Asia, because it was unusual, unknown, mysterious, and exotic. So yes, exactly. Oh, cool. I, I am mysterious and exotic. exotic. What can I say? <laughs> right, because you are. <laughs> okay, what do we have third there? Thanks for that little breakdown too. I enjoy talking about it. Um, enamel pin, faux gemstones, a figural peacock, uh, circa late 1900. So this is from the 1980s. Uh, this particular piece has some rhinestones in it. 
And people are saying that I say per this particular piece a lot. It's so funny. I was seeing that on social media. They're going, you're saying this particular piece, but I want you to have a chance to take a look at the piece and really uh, see, even though it's costume jewelry, the workmanship that goes into this. Oh, I feel like she's dropping a hint there. Oh, I, I'm no dumpster, hands yes. down. I feel like brooches. I think it's a beautiful piece. Yep, no dumpster too. No dumpster, you guys got it, $65. That's nice. really pretty. Yeah, really I'm, pretty. Like, match your outfit I'm in today. the greens right now. I really yep. like that piece too. Very <laughs> good. Hey, good stuff, Dr. Lori, as always. And we want to encourage our viewers to play along with us. Yes, if you have an item that you've been looking at and you're you know, curious what it is worth, post it on our Facebook page and Dr. Lori might take a look at it. You got it. Take care, Dr. Lori. See you soon. Thanks, have a good week. You too.